All right, so um, we're going to go over linear pairs, complementary angles, and vertical angles. So this is kind of a review of middle school math. Um, in middle school, they just want you to be able to, uh, you know, tell me the definitions of these things. And you do a little bit of work with it, which I'll show you shortly. But um, what a linear pair is, is they're supplementary. So I have that highlighted here. And that means that the two angles add to 180 because if you look at them, they're on the same line together, so the angle measure of a straight line is 180 degrees. So knowing that, if you get two angles, you can set up equations like I have shown here so that they equal 180 degrees. So that's sort of algebraically the way to show that the sum of the two angles is 180 degrees. Moving on to complementary angles. Um, same thing, except they add to 90 degrees. And a lot. be careful of that because a lot of people get supplementary and complementary confused. They can't remember which one is which. Uh, a note about that is when you look at figures, in order for them to be complementary, you have to be sure you're dealing with a right angle, which means either it tells you it's a right angle or it has this little square like this. And then there's uh, something else I'll show you when we do a couple of example problems shortly. Um, but the two angles you can see I have an equation set up equal to 90 degrees. And that just says if some of the angles is 90 degrees, it's what it says in just writing. Then we have the vertical angles. So vertical angles are equal. They're equivalent to each other. Um, you know, if these were two sticks crossing and, and I moved them back and forth, these would always stay the same. Okay, so um, when we set up equations for those, we just write that they are equal. So you can see I have angle W is equal to angle P. Angle T is equal to angle uh, the measure of angle R. So that's all you need to know in order to do the problems that we're going to do. So um, geometry... If, you know, a lot of times people ask me, what, what is geometry, what's it about? Well, it's really kind of an extension of algebra. You do a lot of algebra in it, but you use the relationships and definitions and theorems and postulates to set up the equations to solve. So we're going to do a little bit of that uh, today. So this is find the measure of angle B. So I'm looking for this angle. Now, if I look at this picture here, I can tell that these two angles are on a straight line. So that's telling me that... This is a linear pair type situation, which means that they're supplementary. So um, I can set up an equation then that they equal 180 degrees. And then I'm just going to do what's called the subtraction property of equality. So when you subtract, you call it the subtraction property of equality. If you add, you call it the addition property of equality. Um, so now I have B is equal to 60 degrees. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, you use a relationship to set up the equation. You solve the equation. You find B. Um, same here, except you'll notice that there is a little right triangle mark here. So a lot of times, if, I'm, if I want to show that these are all 90 degrees, I don't have to draw a little uh, square in each corner. I only have to do it once. Because if this is 90, this is 90. And if this is 90, then this is 90. So um, I know that this is a complementary type relationship. And since these two angles are complementary, my equation will now look like this. It'll add to 90. So again, subtraction property of equality. And this one, find x. So we change this up just a little bit, um, but it's the same. These are, it looks like, they're on the same line here. So it means that these are, this is a linear pair. So um, that means that they add to 180. So I set up my equation like so. And then I'm going to combine those like terms there. Subtraction property quality. Right, so I think that's uh, 144. And then, you know, this, whoops, this could be called the multiplicative inverse. You could do that too. The multiplicative inverse is fine. Um, but this would actually be the division property of equality since I'm dividing. And so that comes to 36. And that's it. Find x. x is 36. I'm done. Um, note about this one. Uh, since you're looking for x, you're not looking for an angle, it is possible sometimes to get negatives on here. It's not very common, but it does happen. And a lot of times people think, oh, I got something wrong because I got a negative. Um, as long as you set it up 
correctly, um, it's fine to get a negative when you're looking for an x, okay? So then I have a couple more here. All right, so this one's got the little uh, 90 degrees in here, so I'm thinking, okay, this is some kind of complementary thing going on. So these two make a 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna set up my equation. Add up those two things. Subtraction property of equality. And if I take away 20, I'm at 70, and six more would be 64. Multiplicative inverse, or division property of equality, whatever you want to call it. And that comes to 16, I think. Yeah. Okay, so x is 16. Now, this is different than the last problem. This is telling me to find the measure of angle ABC, which is ABC. It's this guy right here. So that means I have to not only find x, but I don't have to plug it in to figure out what this is. So if I plug in 16 here, we already know 16 times 4 is 64. So that's 65 degrees. So I know that the measure of angle ABC is equal to 65 degrees. The last one here. So this appears to be, um, I've got vertical angles for one. It wants me to find this angle right here. Okay. So um, this is a kind of a combination of two things. So one is I noticed that these two here are a linear pair. So that means that 5x plus 2 plus 47 is equal to 180. So I'm going to add these up here. Then I'm going to subtract that 49. I can already tell I'm going to get a fraction, but that's okay. All right, so I get 5x, and then that would be 140, 131. And if I divide that, I could leave it like this. That'd be fine. Um, so I know that x is equal to 131 over 5. So if I want to figure out what this is, these are vertical angles. So all I have to do is figure out what this one is down here. And so all I'm going to do is plug that in there. And you can see why I left it a fraction, because it actually makes it pretty easy to do. This will cancel out, so I'll get, a, I'll get 131 plus 2, that's 133 degrees. So the measure of angle TWS is 133 degrees. Okay, that's all there is to it.